inspired makeup tutorial and um, for those of you who don't know who Cher Lloyd is she was on the on the um, X Factor well she is on the X Factor still and um, she's currently in the audition in progress just got through to the judges houses and I think she's men been mentored by Cheryl Cole a lot of you have been saying that I look like Cher Lloyd which um, I can't really see <laughs> but that's kind of right why I thought I'd do a Cher Lloyd inspired makeup tutorial so um, we've got a very very smirky, heavily lined eye with big false eyelashes, bright pink cheeks and um, a pink juicy lip. I also did my hair like Cher Lloyd with the big poof and the sort of messy um, bun at the back, the jacket and chains. So <laughs> hopefully um, this is what you guys meant when you said that you wanted a Cher Lloyd tutorial. So um, yeah. Please enjoy the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it was what you wanted. Okay, so I've already got my foundation on just to save time in the video and um, I actually used a mix of two foundations for this after my primer which was the Michael Todd Instant Fill Primer which I really really like. So then I went on to foundation and I used a mix of Studio Fix Fluid in NW20 and um, Revlon Photo Ready in O2 Vanilla. Then I concealed which you've seen in many, many other videos, um, Collection 2000 Last Imperfection Concealer. I'm still really, really liking that. So I'm just going to set that with powder now. I'm just going to use a 129 from MAC and the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. It's just powder through the T-zone. One thing I should point out about the foundation is because we've got this big poof in the hair, which she uh, has, um, make sure that you really, really blend your foundation into the hairline, just so it's not really obvious, because it is obviously pulled back like this. Cher's eyebrows are interesting. <laughs> they are very, they're kind of like those tadpole eyebrows, in the way that um, they have this kind of larger area in here, and then they sort of thin and sort of taper out very, very long um, towards the outer edge. So I'm going to do that with a little angled brush. This is a Sigma 266. I'm just going to use a dark brown eyeshadow. This is just from a, a palette I found in Superdrug. Um, just a dark, it's a really, really dark brown. It's probably, I probably usually go um, a shade or two lighter than my hair when I do my eyebrows. But for this one, I'm going to go um, the same colour as my hair. So kind of a really dark brown. And I'm just going to fill my eyebrow. Actually, I'm going to brush them through first just with um, an eyebrow groomer like this so that the hairs are sort of laying in the right place so I'm going to start off in here and they're very very rounded at the front as well I'm going to take them up A little bit further than my normal brows go and then round it out and tape it so it's not a really really square shaped brow it's kind of very very long and then it arches down so the eyebrows probably look a little bit strange at this point because I've got no um, eye makeup on but um, since I've got them filled in now, I'm just going to tidy them up so they're really sort of neat and precise with um, a concealer brush. This is the MAC 194 brush and I've just got a bit of concealer on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to go around and sort of sculpt them out with the concealer. So to set those eyebrows in place, I'm going to use the clear brow gel from MAC. And I'm just going to brush through those and it'll make sure that the hairs stay exactly where you want them to. So the four eyeshadows I'm going to use for this look are these four, which I've just put into a MAC quad just so you can see um, them a little bit clearer than pointing them out in a bigger palette. So I'll just go through them. We've got Woodwinked, Carbon, Amber Lights and Nylon. Now um, Cher has a really, really strong, sort of really defined highlight 
um, right under the brows. So I'm going to go in and do that first. And I'm going to use nylon, which is a really sort of shimmery, cream coloured eyeshadow. I'm going to place that directly under the eyebrow, under this arch part here. And then sort of blend it out towards the tail of the brow. So you can see that highlight there, it just really shimmers really nicely. And then I'm going to take that same nylon colour and place some in the tear duct of the eye, which will open the eyes up. And then we can move on to our lid colour. So on the lid, Cher kind of wears a bronzy, browny kind of colour. And for this, I'm going to be using Woodwinked, which is a bronzy, browny colour. <laughs> and um, it's a really nice, really nice sort of shimmery, shimmery colour. So we're going to use that all over the lid. And I'm going to apply that with a 252 from MAC, which is just a flat eyeshadow um, brush. And then just pat this on the eyelid. So after I've got that um, wood-winked eyeshadow just laid down in the lid, I'm going to blend it out. This is an Illamasqua blending brush number one. And I'm just going to softly blend the eyeshadow up towards the nylon that we applied as a highlight. And you'll see that as it sort of blends out, this colour tends to get warmer and warmer. So it starts off being quite um, a gold-brown colour. And when it blends out, it almost goes to like this amber um, like really warm bronze colour which is really nice especially for autumn those colours are really really in so you can see that blends up really really nicely okay so under the eye I'm going to apply this really gold um, nice shimmery colour this is called Amber Lights on a 219 which is a pencil brush from MAC and I'm going to apply that underneath the eye Now with the 224 from MAC, which is a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take Carbon Eyeshadow, which is just a matte black colour here, and I'm going to take that um, just on the outer half of the lid, because Cher has a lot of depth on the, out of, on the outer half, um, and then after we'll add um, that really sort of intense eyeliner that she wears as well. So I'm just going to place this on the outer half, just do little circular motions, and you'll find that this brush will blend it for you. So little circular motions on the very, very outer corner. And then once you've got something like that, you want to take a different blending brush. I'm going to go back to my Illamasqua one. And I'm just going to blend that through the socket line. So you have something that looks like that. Don't worry about the fallout, we'll clear that up in a second. So we've got the eyeshadow completed now. I've used all the four colours from this palette. We've got our highlight, our lid colour, lower lash line and socket line colour or kind of a colour to deepen up the eye. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeliner. The first thing that I'm going to do is just use a Rimmel. This is a Rimmel Curl Liner. It's a really, really nice soft eyeliner. And I'm just going to do both the waterline and the tight line, which is the top of my eye. So that's the waterline, and then the tight line is just this bit of skin under here. Now if you find that it tickles and it makes your eyes water, which it does with me, um, you can sort of, as long as it's your own liner and you're not going to use it on anyone else, you can just place it in your eye, close your eye, and then just run it underneath. And then that does it without your eye sort of wanting to water, so I'm just going to do the same on this eye. So this is an Illamasqua Precision Ink um, eyeliner and it's just a black um, liquid eyeliner so I'm just going to line the upper lash line with this. So now I've got the eyes done, I've got the eyeshadow and these sort of heavily lined um, eyes done. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use the Rimmel Sexy Curves, which I really, really like. And then I'm going to apply some false lashes. Because Cher often wears false eyelashes and in fact I never really see her. Well, I haven't seen her on the X Factor without them on. So, um, and she kind of wears a very sort of flared out winged eyeliner. Um, eyelash, sorry. So I'm going to use these ones by Girls Aloud and these are the Nicola eyelashes. And if I just hold them up for you, 
you'll be able to see that they're they sort of wing out and taper out towards the end so I'm going to put those on and then I'll just show you the cheeks really quickly just let your eyelashes go tacky a little bit before you put them on so they don't slip around too much you can see that glue is white at the moment but it will um, dry clear as soon as the glue has dried which will only take a few seconds so I'm just going to put the other one on now is it just me or do all eyelash glues smell like fish? <laughs> you just thought they would have like invented a nice smelling eyelash glue because they always stink. Okay, so I've got my eyelashes on, the glue is still drying but um, I'm going to move on to cheeks really, really quickly. I'm going to use a 138 brush and I'm going to use a blusher which is under all this <laughs> Um. I'm going to use this one which is called Salsa Rose and Cher often wears sort of, it's not a pink and it's not a red or a coral, it's somewhere almost in between so you can see this one, it's kind of a reddish coral colour and I'm just going to take that on the very very tip of the brush, you can see just a little bit and I'm going to kind of use it as a contour as well as um, a blusher so I'm, I am going to put it under the cheekbone but blend it in as if it's a blusher. So hopefully you can see that blush is working kind of like a contour as well and blend it up into the temples. So we've got something like that, it is kind of a bright pink um, blush. I'm then going to highlight the cheeks using Pearl Cream Colour Base from MAC. And then on the lips. I, before I started anything I applied um, Palmex lip balm just so that can soak in while I did the rest of the makeup and I'm going to apply a lipstick called Impassioned from MAC because um, Cher often has this sort of really bright juicy pink lip but I'm only going to apply it a little bit and I'm going to apply it onto my finger first so it's more like um, a pink gloss rather than a full on perfect um, lip. So if you just blend that on rather than applying it straight from the bullet, it will be much sheerer and um, sort of act more like a gloss. I'm then going to apply a gloss over the top, which is Sally Hansen's Lip Inflation, which is just a clear gloss that has a plumping effect. Okay guys, so that's our final look for Cher Lloyd. I hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!